Hi everyone! So it is peak week for me and for powerlifting that means it is a week of not lifting very much, not at all like normal and just doing some technique work and nothing too heavy. So I have a little bit of extra time and I've been meaning to kind of put together footage from a trip I took earlier this summer which was when I went to the Grand Canyon with my family and we also stopped at Arches National Park, which I really wanted to go back for a second day, but it was super busy and they were at capacity by the time we tried to go early in the morning. Um, so pro tip, if you are ever trying to plan to go to national parks uh, like Arches, you'd want to get there extra, extra early. And just to make sure you get there before they stop letting people in, which they do do updates on the website, but we didn't think to check because we had just gone to the Grand Canyon and there was no problem there. But I think with the capacity restrictions that were going on, um, they would basically turn you away and tell you to come back in the afternoon. But we were driving back to Vegas that day, so we couldn't hang out too long. But I definitely want to go back. It was beautiful. Grand Canyon was really fun to check out, but I wasn't that excited because I had gone many years ago and I've heard so much about these other parks since then, but the Grand Canyon is super breathtaking. I'm really glad we got to stop there. I truly believe in aliens after <laughs> visiting there again. And it was really awesome, but as far as hiking goes, there's not as much you can do without going on like an entire day trip or multi-day trips even so I kind of like doing or going to places where there's kind of a trail or there's some kind of hike so it was still worth going Smack yeah, smacking stuff. so anyways I believe in video? aliens Did you catch after the video? this I don't think so I think you yeah. have to get her to spank you again Whoa! Whoa! Gymnastics! It's like a boob. We also stopped by the place where they shot that scene from Forrest Gump. And then we were able to go on a trail at Arches, which is, I think, what made me like it a little bit more. And it's smaller, the park itself, so it's not super overwhelming. And definitely could spend multiple days there. I'd really love to go back um, and actually get closer to the arch. Uh, we hiked up towards it, but I think because of the heat and... Um, I think it was just a little bit, um, it was a little bit rough traveling if you're a little bit older. I think the heat really gets to you and so we just decided to turn around and take it easy. And I was able to train at the Dragon's Lair with Dr. Mike, which is where I think a lot of new subscribers uh, found me from. That was an awesome experience. That day, because we had gone to Arches, which is in the desert. Um, and then we're really hungry and then decided to eat Thai food and then I made the fatal mistake of ordering shrimp um, I had food poisoning so that training session I think was extra hard for me because I had been pooping my brains out for the day before that so traveling back to Vegas day and the day of the shoot so I pretty much hadn't eaten anything in a couple days and I was also on my period and so I was just worried like hopefully you know no malfunctions happen and no one can tell that that was what was happening but it was a rough time but got through it still had a great time training definitely really glad that I had that experience and this is some training footage from my house so this is a balcony on the third floor which is why i have to really gently put the weights down which i think has been helping my deadlift form and technique because i can't just drop the weight although 
it makes it way harder on my hand skin because I feel like my calluses take a beating when I have to hold the weight for so long. Benching at home has been really nice. I do think our floor isn't super level, so it's not the perfect setup. And because I have to figure out how to perfectly center the bench, sometimes I'm a little bit off. Um, I still like going to the gym where I know I'm practicing with competition equipment. And in this case, this is actually the gym I'll be doing my meet at this weekend. And so getting to use their equipment um, getting to practice with what I'm going to be competing with has been really helpful. So I'm super excited for this weekend. Um, super looking forward to finally competing after almost two years. And this hasn't been the ideal prep because my work schedule has been crazy. It's been the busiest year ever. And so sleep is inconsistent. Eating is inconsistent. Like nothing's been optimal, but... I want to make the best of it, and I'm really excited. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Like one or two poops a day. You can schedule your life around that. Yeah.